everyone, my name is Spy the GB, and welcome back to another episode of my Minecraft Let's Play. This, of course, is episode 46, and as you can see, my little snow town village thingamadoohickey is really starting to take shape. I've added a whole bunch of new NPC houses, which, of course, are not populated at all at the moment, actually. Uh, some, of the, uh, some of the houses look a bit strange, but what I've been trying to do is I've been trying to add as many doors to each one as I possibly can in an attempt to get the villagers to actually breed when I get them here. So as you can see, we've got one, two, three, we've got four doors on this igloo right here, but it still looks reasonable. It doesn't look good, but it looks reasonable. And we've got this big-ass house over here, kind of like the, the king's temple, if you will. As you can see, there's a whole bunch of stuff. Well, a whole bunch of room in here, shall I say. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's all starting to go pretty well. We've got another igloo over here. This is going to be another entrance to the village itself, or town. I have not decided if this is a town or a village yet. I have no idea. I should probably call it a village, just for technical reasons, I guess. Right, but in this episode, there's a few things I want to do. First of all, I would like to start working on the uh, on the town walls. As you can see, we do still have them marked out and everything is still good here. We just need to think of what kind of material I could go for with a snow village in terms of a town wall. That is going to be the uh, the probably more difficult thing of this episode. So let me just go upstairs and let me have a look at the, uh, the old selection of things that I have. I'm thinking stone bricks because they're going to be pretty easy to get. I do still have my silky monster, so I should be able to grab some stone pretty easily. So yeah, it's pretty limited, isn't it? You know, we've got cobblestone, we've got stone bricks. I don't know. We could potentially try and add some ice in there, perhaps. That might work, you know? Just little little dots of ice inside the castle walls. Not castle walls, town walls, whatever the hell you want to call them. I don't know. This could work, this could not work. That's the whole that's the beauty of, of Minecraft. You can do you can just experiment and see what works and what doesn't, I guess. There we go, all good. Right, okay. This is gonna be uh, pretty interesting. Let's start off with a, uh, a fairly small amount of materials to start off with. There we go. Just so we can get some sort of some sort of feel as to what we're gonna do. Right. Now, I'm not entirely fussed about being able to walk on the walls, honestly. I'm really not fussed. It'll be nice, but like I said, it is not entirely necessary. So, hmm, that is the question. How are we going to approach this the easiest way? Which is going to be the easiest way of doing this, and the best way, of course. Easiest and best. Can't compromise. I need both. Right, we could always have it two two blocks thick or one block thick. I don't think a one block thick wall would really work, would it? Because it wouldn't have much depth or character to it, so that would really suck. So okay, we're just gonna try and experiment with this thing, I guess. Okay, so we've got an entrance here. Let me just make some of the no creepers about. I did actually have a creeper explode right beside the snowman over there. He actually managed to stay inside of the thing. But all of this area here was pretty much blown up and it was... Ugh. Obviously, snow is not blast resistant, not by any stretch of the imagination. So even a small explosion can cause absolute devastation. So, yeah, pretty, pretty hostile. Pretty damn hostile. But, uh, yeah, you know... We're going to try and uh, come up with some design. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and come up with some sort of design or some sort of thing we can work from. And I should meet you guys back once I have come up with something that we can use. Guys, a quick progress update to say that the uh, the walls, the uh, walls themselves are, well, they're not really walls at the moment, they're just sort of layout things. They are now in place, and as you can see also, I have started placing some fences, and these of course are the entrances to the village. So, you know, we've still got a lot of things to do. I've got some stone bricks smelting in the furnaces upstairs, which I believe turned them into cracked stone bricks. So we will have quite the palette of blocks to use in terms of things to use for our farm. So yeah, as you can see, 
Cracked stone bricks, if you guys didn't know, uh, it's a 1.8 feature. You smelt stone bricks, and boom shakalaka, you get some cracked stone bricks. So, awesome source. Let's go to sleep, and I shall meet you guys back with another progress update, hopefully very shortly. Alrighty guys, I have another progress update for you, and this time it's to show that some of the wall has actually been completed. Like I said, I really... Uh, well, I guess I didn't really say it, but I really don't want to go for sort of a castle-looking thing. So what I essentially did is I sort of flattened off the top part, just to make sure, you know, that I give sort of an emphasis on the fact that this is a wall and not like a fortress, so you can walk along the tops of it, you know, there's not going to be any turrets or anything like that. It's just going to be very simple. But as you can see, I've used a very... A very much mixed mash of of stone related blocks you know we've got cracked stone bricks stone bricks stone blocks cobblestone and of course regular stone bricks and then of course with the old uh, the uh, the things here obviously we only have stone bricks and cobblestone so you know it's a bit of a limited palette in terms of stairs but uh, do you know what this this actually works pretty damn nicely and what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna probably put some glowstone in here somewhere because obviously you know stone uh, sorry snow blocks do not melt which is a very very good sort of uh, thing about them, I guess. But yeah, as you can see, it's it's it is starting to look pretty good. I'm a big fan of it. You know, it it gives a sort of an old sort of abandoned style look. You know, like as if this thing wasn't populated in years upon years or even centuries. So you know, the walls started to started to become decrepit or something like that. You know, I like it. I like it. It's a nice nice little addition. Obviously, because I've used stone bricks up there. Up there, stone brick slabs. Uh, actually, no, mobs will be able to spawn on that, won't they? I've just thought about that right now. Mm. Okay, in which case, I'm going to have to put torches on top of it. That shouldn't be any problems. Obviously, no snow is going to form on top of it, because once again, I'm using the top half of the uh, the the slab. So, you know, again, no snow forms on top of it, as you can quite clearly see here. No, no snow has ever formed on top of here, because, of course, these are slabs as well. So, yeah, it works pretty well. The only thing that's limiting me and my speed and things at the moment is the fact that I don't have a lot of stone. Most of my stone is at my old village, and of course, it is still December, so we are still limited to here. It's a bit of a sort of festive thing, you know, we're sticking to the old snow biome to sort of simulate the fact that it's winter. So what I've been doing instead is I've been going down here, and I have been going crazy with this. Hello. Sorry, I thought you were something else, which is why I was like, oh my god, what the hell is going on? Good lord. Okay, let's throw some torches in here, shall we? I don't want too many people spawning, because that would limit spawn rates in case I ever wanted to make some sort of mob drop trap, which I do eventually want to do on this series. Maybe not necessarily in the snow village, but definitely back at the main place with all the uh, the villager island, you know, all that good stuff. We will be returning there soon, my friends. Once December is over, once this project is over, we will go back there and we will get on with more things like finishing off the old tree farm, underground tree farm. It's getting there, my friends, it really is, but like I said, it's a massive project, and it needs to be worked on slowly but surely, and that's exactly what I've been doing, because if I did it all in one, then I probably would be sick of playing Minecraft, so, you know, it's, it's a good way of doing things, to be honest, if you want to sort of prevent yourself from getting bored from playing Minecraft, then, you know, just, just try and vary your projects, you know, come back to your projects later, in case... Well, in, if if they are big, then, you know, you can just go ahead and go back to them later, and you, you'll still feel like wanting to play Minecraft. I don't know. That's, that's just the way I'll be doing things. All right, let me grab some more stone, my friends, and I shall carry on working on the town walls for you, my friends. I shall see you guys once we've made some more progress. guys got another progress update for you as you can see I have started planting some trees inside of my village and it's actually spruced the place up quite a lot as you can see you know they're all on the corners and yeah I'm liking it I'm liking it it really adds a nice sort of snowy Christmassy touch to the village I've also worked on the walls a little bit more you know we've got a lot more of it done now it spans all the way over here and obviously you know we got this bit here to do you know we've still got a fair amount of uh, fair amount of stuff to do but it's definitely getting there my friends definitely getting there <laughs> oh man it really does feel quite nice to be in here I don't know about you guys but there's just 
something about this that makes me happy. I don't know. <laughs> it's really strange. But anyways, guys, I guess it is time to get into the question of the video. And uh, actually, I need to think. Of, I need to do something while I am doing this. Otherwise, I would be. I won't be uh, very productive, will I? So let's go ahead and grab some more stone because that's what I need to do. Okay, but today's question of the video comes from a user by the name of Brian Harkus, and it is, what made you start making YouTube videos? I have only one name for you guys. One name and one name only. He was the sole sort of inspiration for me to start YouTube. His name is C Nanners. <laughs> C Nanners was my inspiration to start YouTube. The very first LP series I ever kept up to date with and got really excited about when new episodes were released was C Nanners original Minecraft Let's Play from Minecraft Alpha. My god were those episodes amazing. I was I was absolutely hooked on it. I found his commentary to be absolutely hilarious and I noticed, you know, he was having a whole butt ton of fun doing it. And I was just like, do you know what? It really does seem like making videos is quite a fun thing to do. So Hey, what do you know? Here I am today, still having fun making videos. So that is, that's that's kind of the answer to that. C Nanners, my friends. If it weren't for C Nanners, I don't know if I would be doing YouTube today. He is my inspiration, and he probably always will be. I still keep up to him even today. The first video I ever made was in December of 2010. Okay, so I've been on the scene for more than four years. Now it might not seem like it because obviously. This Python GB channel was started, I think, back in April? I'd like to say April of 2012. So, yes, I did have an old channel. And my videos back then weren't exactly good. I didn't really know what I was doing in terms of editing. But, you know, like I said, it was fun. It was a very fun experience. It still is, you know, learning new editing techniques, learning new commentary styles. I don't know. Commentary styles is something you really develop by yourself, just over a long period of time, I guess. But it's it's just something that, I guess, comes naturally, like, the more you do it, I guess. So, yeah, that's, that should hopefully do for an answer, I guess, my friend, Brian. And uh, my question to you guys, it's sort of related to that answer right there. Who was the first YouTuber you ever watched on YouTube who did Let's Play content of games? Leave your responses in the comments area below. Like I said, my one was C-Nanners. So I'm pretty interested to see what you guys come up with because uh, I know there's quite a broad spectrum of Let's Player YouTubers out there. So I'm expecting a large variety of answers. So yeah, I'm pretty, pretty interested to see what you guys come up with. So by all means, leave it in the comments area below. And also, while you're there, there. If you would like to suggest a question of the video for a future video, then be sure to leave it in the comments area below. And there has been a bit of a shortage of them recently because uh, I feel like most of the questions now are just getting repeated. Which is uh, kind of suckish, so what I may wind up doing is setting up some sort of text document and linking it in the description of every single video from the series so you guys know which questions have already been answered. So, I don't know, hopefully, hopefully that'll be useful to you guys if I do decide to do that. Uh, you know, I can see the benefits of doing it anyway. But yeah, let me go ahead and continue grabbing some more stone and we are going to continue on making the town walls, my friends. So I shall see you guys with another progress update shortly. Ladies and gentlemen, the wall is now pretty much done, and I must admit, 
It was a bit of a tedious process, I've now been recording for coming up to 80 minutes now, 8-0. It's been a long, long recording, my friends, but it's probably come out as a normal-sized episode, so uh, hopefully you guys are alright with that. But yeah, we're starting to, starting to get things under control here. It's starting to look really nice. I think the next thing we need to work on is getting the rest of the igloos and or building things sorted out, and obviously the interiors, uh, you know, put stuff inside the igloos as well for the villagers, and of course myself, because, you know, why else would you do it? I mean, the villagers aren't exactly going to use an enchanting table or anything like that, are they? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then obviously, you know, again, lighting this place up will also do the job pretty nicely in terms of preventing zombies from spawning specifically. So, uh, yeah, I guess I can go ahead and uh, put some stuff up here in the meantime. Just a few little lights here and there because, you know, they will be able to spawn on the roofs of these places. So that will suck a little bit. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's go up here and let's put some more torches. There we go. Good stuff. So torch on there. Okay, let's go over here. No, this one looks a bit wonky. Let me take this bit off here really quick. There we go. That looks a bit better. Bada bing, bada boom. Yep. Everything is looking in uh, tip-top shape. And the final thing I want to do in this episode is I would like to make some fence gates. Some dark... Well, not dark oaks. Some spruce fence gates to, uh, to be specific. So... Again, shouldn't be too difficult, shouldn't take too long, my friends. I should also grab some more food, because I've actually run out of pork chops entirely now, so that's a thing. Okay, there we go, and uh, the woods. The woods. I love me some the woods. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Three of them. Boom, boom, boom. And a boom. There we go. Ah, no, I need six of them. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, let's do that again. Fantastic, and we have spruce fence gates. Awesome source, so we now have proper entrances which will actually keep the mobs out. Now, obviously, the only reason they might get in here is because they might spawn naturally, because again, you know, there's no there's no proper light sources sort of in every single spot, if you get what I mean. So, yeah, again, something to work on in the next episode, my friends. But uh, I think that's going to wrap it up for today's episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy the episode, and of course you're excited to see more, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And of course you guys can subscribe if you want to know when the future videos are out. But yeah, this is, this is coming along really freaking nicely. It's been an 81 minute recording, but you know, it's it's been worth it. It's been worth it. I've done a lot of things today and I'm very happy as, as a result. So yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for your continued support. And if I don't make another episode before Christmas, then a very happy, please have yourself a very Merry Christmas or very happy holidays. And uh, yeah, like I said, I'll wrap it up for me. Thanks for watching guys. And I'll see you next time.